How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Stars of the Diamond. My name is Rhett, and today I'm going to be doing another um, kind of like a mail day. So I just got my lots from Leland's Auctions, and I was able to win in their latest auction that just ended at the beginning of December 2020 four different non-sports card miscellaneous lots. Each each lot had a couple items that I was really looking for in there, but a lot of it is just going to be unknown items. So I haven't opened them yet. I'm just kind of unboxing them right now. I've got three boxes. This could be a little bit of a longer video. I'll try and make it somewhat quick. But again, this is for Leland's Auctions. Um, they're run by... Um, some really good guys, Josh Evans and, and the, the team over there, uh, consistently bring great items to the hobby and uh, I've always had good dealings with them. So couldn't recommend them higher. And uh, they have a lot of nice miscellaneous lots that sometimes you can find some nice stuff in. So we're just gonna kind of go through this. I believe this one is Canadian cards. Nope, lied, this is monster cards. I have a box that looks just like this that is filled with Canadian cards as well. So again, this is just a miscellaneous box. A lot of this stuff, I think I already have quite a bit of it. So it's gonna be one of those lots that I probably am gonna have a fair amount of duplicates of. But uh, we've got some uh, monster initials. And we've got a lot of those and they look pretty clean too. So some staining on the backs of some of them, but for the most part, there's a, they're not too, too bad. So I'll have to compare those to what I already have. And we've got a fair number of these Spook Stories cards. Oh, these are, first ones are Munsters. They're slightly smaller in size. So here's some Munsters cards. And, uh, you know, used condition. They're not terrible. They're not super creased or anything like that, but nice collector's grade items. Got some Munsters cards. What are these? The You'll Die Laughing. Yeah, I think these are the 19, early 1970s You'll Die Laughing with a lot of the uh, Universal Monsters. Looks like there's a fair number of duplicates and everything in there. These ones are monster. So here's the, these are all spook stories. So pretty good, pretty good grouping of those. Not bad. And uh, continuing on. So we got some Outer Limits cards. I always liked these ones. These are really tough to find in decent condition. But some of those great TV shows for the Outer Limits are featured on these cards. I have a near set of these, so a lot of these probably, these are pretty clean actually, so. I might have, these might be some upgrades for me on some of the ones I already have. So, pretty good stack of those. I don't know if I was expecting there to be quite that many. That's a great card. <clears throat> I really like the Outer Limits cards. Those are pretty cool. And uh, these lots, again, are always good, good because you just never quite know. They're so extensive. This one, I think, was 600 plus miscellaneous cards. Um, you just never quite know everything that's in there, and uh, it's almost too much to ask for them to really describe everything that's in there as well. So we've got some of these more, some more of these monster stickers, and again, these look pretty nice on the back. So can't complain too much about those. There's a Mike card. And again, I don't want to get too into 
you know, kind of showing too much. Otherwise, this video is going to be hours long. And I'm going to try and keep it as short as I can. So monster laughs. These are the large size monster laughs. Again, pretty clean cards. I like them. Now this is the 19, uh, the late 1950s You'll Die Laughing series that has the colored pictures. You'll Die Laughing, that one's got some damage on it. But here's again some more of those older ones. That's pretty cool. We got one of the monster, the, the Munsters stamps. Those have some pretty decent value if they're not creased. I'm, I'm pretty sure I need that one because I don't remember that image. Got the weirdos. Got some weirdos. Another sticker of Ralph hanging out over here. This is just an inventory. Yeah, just kind of a quick inventory of uh, what we've got going on in this lot. Most of these are spook stories again. A lot of spook stories, man. Which is good because I don't think I had a ton of those. A couple hundred spook stories into, let's see what's going on here. You'll Die Laughing from the 70s. More spook stories. So that's pretty much what that is. And here's the picture that they used for the auction lot description. So they had separated these ones out. representative scans of some cards. Frank and Kathy make a pretty pretty cute couple there. But those will go well with uh, some of the other lots. So apparently I got two of the same exact stamp. I would have liked there to have been two different. So here's some other puzzle pieces I did not show you. And some more Munsters cards, spook stories, spook stories. So, I should have a full spook story set. Alrighty, so those are the monster cards. I think that lot was you know, 400 bucks or something like that. Now this one... This is the Canadian ones. This is the other one there. So the one I thought we were getting into first. This one's a bit of a mess in here. So I'm not sure exactly what we're seeing. Obviously we got a big stack of these Brook Bonds cards of birds and stuff like that. Those aren't necessarily my favorite things. But there was some other cards that weren't super well described. I've always collected a lot of Canadian stuff. I don't know if it's because I was uh, raised predominantly up in Maine or what it was, but um, I just don't think of Canada being much separated from uh, the U.S., so enjoy me some Canadian stuff. Looks like we got quite a few of the papoose Indian cards. So those are kind of cool. I think I have a few of these, but those are the same art, I believe, that uh, kind of emanate from the Allen and Ginter set that were reproduced in the uh, Red Man set. And so there's Geronimo. And uh, that's with the Canadian Chewing Gum Company. So pretty cool series, actually, of, of cards there. So quite a few of those, man. Pretty healthy stack. Some more book bonds, those kind of got everywhere. We got a pack of, an unopened pack of Happy Days. 
Oh, peachy. One more of those Papoose cards, making a break for it. No, yeah, even more of the Papoose cards, so. Overall, can't complain about that big of a stack of those. Put the happy days in there. Looks like these are gonna be mostly Parkhurst series. So we got cars. Adventures of Radisson. These ones kind of seem lower grade. Movies and TV stars. And these are Operation Sea Dog. So many of these. You got some of those. I think these are all Opeachy printed in Canada, those tops flags. That, uh, not a rare set, but a set that's really tough to find in presentable, not destroyed condition. So big stack of those Operation Sea Dog and Race Against Time. So two different series of Parkhurst cards from Canada. Looks like a some sort of a package card, probably from cereal or something. Super test. Modern airplanes. Got a couple of those. Someone wrote on the change the number on them, so that kind of kills those a little bit. More of those cars. Weapons of some kind, guns. Some larger items. So these are mostly going to be Cowan's cards. These are chickens that have all been trimmed from their relieved of their coupons on the bottom. That's still pretty collectible. And here's some of these um, animals. And again, you can kind of see in the box you have different kinds of ads for different miscellaneous. I think there's the Mellow Milk Chocolate, the Royal Milk and Mellow Milk, and then the Almond Nut Bar. So I think it's a set of 24 cards, but I think each card can be found with the three different ads. So uh, full set would be, what, 72 cards? Now these are the cards they use to scan for the auction house. Again, these are cars. Looks like two different sets here. Green and red back. Maybe that's just two series or something. Some of the nicer of the Brook Bonds. Some more of those. Oh, see, these ones are not Papoose. They're from the generic set, so they don't have the Papoose gum series. So I didn't look at the others to see if there were kind of half and half or what they were. One of the, another one of those super tests. Tyrone Power. Here's a couple of those Cowan's cards. Should probably have a set of those. Already had a fair number to begin with. Some more of those Race Against Times. All of the sports ones are always pretty popular. And then I got a giant stack of these Skippy picture cards. I think these came with bread. Yeah, Henry Rousseau Bakery. So these are a matching group, so they're all the same bakery. I think they came from various bakeries from around the different provinces. So pretty cool. These are from 1936. Series number two. So they came in three series, obviously red, yellow, and then blue at the top. I'm not sure. I think I have a few scraggling cards of those, but that's pretty much it. So I am going to set these aside. I'm going to pause the video for a second and go grab the other two boxes.
All right, so we are back and we have one more box here. Again, I think these are mostly movie cards. So these might not be the most exciting cards of the bunch. Oh, there's some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I like these. These are pretty cool. They're in decent condition. These are always found just absolutely beat to heck. So about as nice as you can hope to find these that aren't kind of pristine in a, an open pack or something. So yeah, those are nice. Got some Star Wars. These are the cards that were in the scans for the, the auction house. Got a Luke Skywalker. I think that's like Wonder Bread or something like that. Fabian. Three's Company sticker. We got some Dark Shadows. We got uh, the monkeys, of course, Partridge family. We've got some Get Your Hands Off Me, You Damn Dirty Ape. Got some Planet of the Apes. I think that's the original, the older series with the greenbacks. Then we got a nice little Goldie Hawn card. Looker back in her time. Got one more group of these galactic bar that's kind of cool get smart this is a pop-up card i think of some kind roy rogers there's another goldie goldie han card this one hasn't been punched that's definitely an upgrade for me that's from the laugh-in set pretty nice card actually man on the moon Zorro from Tops. Got some combat. Yeah, combat. Green Berets. Garrison's Gorillas. And a JFK card. So pretty cool. I think for the most part, I don't know if we're going to get too into these things here. But we'll just kind of check some stuff out. Official Green Hornet playing cards. These are pretty cool. We got Kato on the back. I kind of like those. Those are kind of cool. Not sealed, but doesn't look like it's really ever been opened. So we've got... What are these ones here? Mod Squad. Pretty low-grade Mod Squad. Okay, so these cards I was kind of into. Some R94s. I did not go with the rest of the cards that were in there. The Phantom City. That's a set that actually has a Babe Ruth in it. These ones are strip cards. And these ones are pretty darn rare. So we got Buster Keaton, Ken Maynard. I was not expecting these in this lot. So these, again, are a strip card similar to like the W517 minis. And you can tell that they're a strip card and not from a four-on-one exhibit card because of the little perforation there and there. So these came in strips. Uh, so pretty darn cool. They're all over the place. Newton House. Victor McLaughlin, Yakima Canute, Ken Maynard, Indians. I'll have to check that because that might actually be Jim Thorpe in one of those. I'll have to check that one out later. Because he was definitely doing a lot of that kind of stuff at that point. Francis Bushman. William Boyd. Hoot Gibson. William Desmond, mostly Western guys. Indians, there's another one. Tom Mix, Burt Roach, and Hoot Gibson. So yeah, super cool. Super excited about those ones. Was not expecting that to be in that lot. Some more 
of those tip top galactic bars some more of those punch outs i have the near set of those but i think i might be missing that exact one yeah, those are actually really nice they're unpunched and in good shape so i'm happy nice cards there oh cool so we've got our laugh-in cards and then we've got the doors and those are unpunched the foldies all right so i'm i'm pretty excited about these because those are a lot nicer than i was the necklace cards and the unpunched so yeah this is this was great value in this lot i was hoping there would be more than what they had kind of showed in the uh the original pictures for the auction and there's much much more than i was expecting in here so more of those laugh-in cards and the laugh-in cards are actually pretty tough i haven't had i haven't had too many opportunities to get some of those i grew up watching those quite a bit grease cards have little value those look like opichi though yeah so those are opichi they just have the opichi feel to them so I do not think I have them in Opeachy, so that's cool, I guess. It's not really a set I've ever gone after. Man on the Moon, quite a few of those. So yeah, I'm super excited about this lot. Fills in quite a few spaces in my, my sets. Three's Company stickers, can never have too much John Ritter. Um, Quite a few of the Planet of the Apes, Zorro cards, and then, uh, not sure what these are, Mr. Omaya. It's a set that there was quite a bit of um, found over the years. Some Star Wars cards, Mork and Mindy, some Jaws 2, Dark Shadows, there's Barnabas himself in bad condition, and more Three's Company stickers. That looks kind of funky. These are obviously like scraps of some kind from the uh, Davy Crockett set. Okay, some hand cut items. These ones I think are those Get Smart cards. These came in panels. Okay, it came in wide panels and you can kind of see the perforations on the side there. I actually collect these in the panel form still so most of those will probably go on eBay whim slash if I ever get around to it got some happy days some Adams family those ones are kind of cool happy days just gonna get some of these out so I can get through them these are all I think with JFK, JFK cards, more happy days. Okay, some Western cards and have this whole set. So most of those are gonna go on. Robin Hood, what do we got here? Some sort of puzzle, Three's Company. Freddy and the Dreamers. Nice. This is Bakhtari, I think, is that set. And then we've got Garrison's Gorillas. So yeah, these are just cards that, you know, for the most part, are going to fill in pieces into my sets that I already have. Or, you know, start sets that I don't already have. we got cards here for Man from Uncle. Is that what this one is? 
Those ones are decent. I don't think I have too many of those. Gomer pile. Nice. And those are the Favion cards. Another set that they found quite a bit in vending form. So more Gomer pile cards. And again, I don't want this video to be too crazy, crazy long. Ooh, James Bond. Printed in the USA. In memory of the great Sean Connery. There we go. I love these cards. Yeah, they didn't have any mention of the 007 cards. So I like that. Quite a few of those. Two different sets there, it looks like. Thunderball. Leaf brand. Oh, some Leaf Star Trek cards. Those are actually pretty tough to find. They're not super nice. Green Beret cards. Combat, monkeys, 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 lots of monkeys. Charlie's Angels. And the rest are Charlie's Angels. So yeah, no, some pretty cool items in there, in this lot. So that's why, you know, that's where it's hard to go wrong with these kind of lots because, I mean, there really doesn't have to be much in the way of you know nice items i can't remember what i paid for this but it was it was too little so really cool stuff i'm super excited about that particular box gonna go through the next box gonna pause first all right so my last box is actually the one that i paid the most for and this one had some items that i was super excited about so we're gonna get into this one this is uh, from the tops. Actually, no, I'm gonna save these till the end. Let's see what else is in here. Just a pretty terrible job packaging, if I'm being totally honest. So let's just look, I mean, this is just miscellaneous stuff here. So we've got a Pico. Airplane car, that's from the earlier Pico set. That's a little tougher to find. I'm not sure what these are. Some sort of a president issue. They look hand cut, so they're probably off of something, I imagine. There's printing on the front and the back. So this group, I may take a little bit more time on. And I apologize if this is a boring video, so some more of those Pico airplanes. I really like those. I only have a couple of those as types. So some more of those presidents. These are just some flags and tops. Mini midgy flags. Nothing too, too special in that. So flags, flags, flags. Flags. That's a box cut card, so that's from a different series. Even though they look exactly like the tops, this is probably from like a serial issue. So flags. Those are all flags. So here's the uh, T forty what six forty seven um, Herbert Terraton. Um, these are actually kind of interesting. You've never seen these before. So these have a little folder. These are a tea card issue, and uh, they're British buildings, and so they're a little pop-up. So here's Buckingham Palace, and it'll tell you right on the package what it is that you're getting in there. So not a hard issue to find, and most of the time when you do find them, they're still in their original wrappers, but pretty cool one. So 
couple more of those Pico airplanes. I really like these. I like this series. You just never see that early, the early series of the Pico cards. You see the later ones a lot more. So we've got a strip card of some kind. Got a lot of these tops flags that are all punched out, so not too much going on there. What do we got going on here? Man, more of those. I love these. So this is the later issue of those Pico airplanes. This is the set that you see a heck of a lot more. Some more of those strip cards. So, yeah, we might end up with a complete set of these Pico airplanes. I'm pretty jazzed about those. So here's some of those later Picos. And those came on the sides of um, candy cigarettes which isn't really politically correct today. And uh, here's uh, Planters. The Canadian version of this set is larger and actually more popular than the American set. There's better made cards. Um, so we've got some Mickey Mouse cards from uh, Mickey Mouse Bubblegum. These are pretty awesome. That was one of the kind of the, the nicer items, I guess, in there. Got some bubblegum cards. And we've got some Dick Tracy cards. These aren't the reproduced high numbers that they found in mass. So we've got some uh, Popeye. Oh, we got some Cardo cards in here too, it looks like. more of those Dick Tracy cards. So yeah, this is definitely the lot that I spent kind of more money on in the long run versus the others. Got some of those Marvel cards, these are kind of mangled. Captain Scarlet, Anglo confectionery, so that's not American. some Civil War news. These cards were kind of cheaply made, so they're always found off-center. Printing quality is pretty bad. A few more of those presidents trying to get away here. Some more Dick Tracys. None of these Dick Tracys are particularly nice. Some of these look hand-cut and everything. So we'll have to kind of go through these and piece out the ones I want to keep and you know, uh, list possibly on eBay the ones I don't want. Drake's Cakes, Superman the Movie, Rice Krispies, Joke Machine, nice. That card got mangled, whatever that was. Yeah, it's still salvageable, got a pretty good bend in it. Yeah, this is a true miscellaneous group here. Polar bear of some kind. Goofy series, football player. Trade card for Whitman samplers, ton of laughs. A team, oh man, he's just gonna go right there and he's just gonna watch us open the, oh, there went the corner. B.A. Baracus is gonna be right back there watching us open these. I think that's a mother's cookies card. Never seen one this badly off center before. That's actually kind of cool. So those are actually kind of tough to find, these Lone Ranger coupons. I have a small collection of those. Sickle cards, that's a strip card. R185, I believe. Ooh, Popeye strip Popeye R card. Oh sweet, some Nido gums. Those are some early E cards. I was not expecting those at all. Nice, I'll take those. And Tip Top Dick Tracy, that's a nice one. What do we got here? Nabisco American Marvels of Nature foil card. It's in pretty decent condition too, I like that. This one's getting mangled, so I'm gonna put that over there. Man, just what, a, what an absolute mishmash. My daughter loves horses, so maybe I'll give her that card. 
Sitting Bull, Red Rider. That's a cool card. I believe those were an insert with a top set. Those might have some value. More Bulletin. These were what armor. Yeah, armor Star Franks. Super Circus. Red Rider. Oh, this is an early one. There's a Durky card of Ethel Barrymore. I mean, we're talking right around 19, the turn of the century. Really cool. Man, what a what a fun miscellaneous group this is. This is a bread set Omar. Yep, Omar Bread. This was on the back of this is called the Men of Science. Or Men of Math, one of those. Elvis card. I'm telling you guys, these are super fun. Oh, those are awesome. I was not expecting to get these unfortunately i think they packaged them poorly and they got bent not high grade but 19th century cards super circus mars garbage bill kid button checklist mclaughlin coffee so that's a k that's a k card 19th century so super oh, those are there's another one of those monsters Stamps. Those are pretty highly collected. Most people just threw those away. There's another one. This could be either Munsters or Spook Stories. Looks like it's still attached. So, I don't know if that one, it looks like it's ripped and still attached. So, unfortunate on that one. I might be able to soak it off. Some birds and flowers, burned lawns. Yeah, so these are just some bad condition items. Sort of MacArthur, Superman. Nice. Tell your fortune. Another super circus. They're like Mad Cards, Mad Magazine. What is this with something? Just Whitman Publishing. All right, so sorry, I'm kind of meandering. Again, I'm still kind of going through these with you guys, so. Some stamps, some good humor, lucky listener cards. I think there's something on the back of these. Yeah, so we got different characters. Similar to like those New York Journal American uh, baseball cards. So International Coffee, Horseshoe, Drum and Tobacco. We got some like from the 1870s all the way to, to the present, man. This is just the true definition of a hodgepodge. Carmen McRae. Tarzan 3D Pictures. That was your insert in the pack. The Duke and the Dope. Little Abner Schmoo, Delmonico Foods and Candies Corporation. I do not know this set. Got quite a few of them. Those are pretty cool. I really like those. I'll go with pickles on the top. These are pretty cool here. They're uh, just little mini comic books inside. This is one of a series of 24 different miniature comics, schmoo hard candy packages. So yeah, this should be an R issue. I just don't know that particular issue. Post Raisin Bran. Nabisco Dam. Do have any damn questions? Another Raisin Bran. These are who knows what. Some sort of fold out. Coca-Cola. Mad Ad Foldies. Unopened package. Looks like the gum's pretty, pretty trashed in there. 
Okay, so this is a what we call a stock issue. So they could be, you know, like a Girardelli's, La Mola gum, crispy top bread. So those are kind of cool. These are like the uh, T7 Hamilton King Girls. I've actually never seen them in postcard version before. Never really looked, but all of these can be found in, in that version as well. So pretty cool issues there. These I think are a yeah, Nabisco issue. I think I have all those. So again, these are the back of a cereal box, I believe. You got a bunch of different ones. Looks like I have a few duplicates. Looks like we got another unopened pack here. Happy Days, 10 Smackers. That's actually a package of tattoo gum. Orbit Gum Company. Big old stack of foldies. Looks like these are all pretty much used and in somewhat not super nice condition. But uh, pretty collectible regardless. So some more of those foldies. Sure Pop Bubblegum, International Gum Corporation, Waterton, Massachusetts. It's obviously unused. Singer Electric Coffee. This is a Canadian brand, I believe. York. Jack Hanna. That card got kind of smushed. George Haas Candy. Another Crispy Top Bread. And so here's a La Mola gum. So that's an E-series. So that's kind of a cool one. I collect those. Some more of those sickle cards. Some 3D cards. A Jello book that looks like it uh, exploded. Yeah. There's a Jello. French auto, some more Coca Cola cards. What do we got going on here? Some play money, a little plastic folder, Lone Ranger. We got some E257 Hershey's. I think these are ones from the actual picture. Got a puzzle, a couple puzzles. We got the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey's Toy Circus, unpunched. Early snap, crackle, and pop. Rice Krispies. Got some sort of astronaut cutout cards. Ooh, we got a Rose, D.E. Rose and Company. I don't think I have that one. Those are the ones from the photos. Got some recording artists. Village Stompers. Interesting. All right. Well, let's just find a stack that's easy to pull out. I'll make these easy to deal with. got some some sort of a Civil War scenes modern set that I'm unfamiliar with looks like we've got some Cardo type sets here I've got some meat series hood ice cream so there's the Cardos Pretty cool. We got some drag racers. Some Popeye gum. So yeah, these ones are pretty good. Is that a Tom Mix? 
Tom Mix, Popeye Gum Comics. Another Tom Mix. So those ones are pretty cool. So those are our cards there. These ones have some curl to them, but they're not in bad condition. So I'll have to see if there's... No, they're not too bad. Looks like there might be a little moisture issues with some of those. Kind of keep those there. We got here the Beach Bowl, and I have this is a 1982 set of recording artists with, yeah, some good guys, Buddy Holly. I like that card, those. series I believe those could either be found kind of like this with just the red backs or with an ad back yeah the, uh, the ad backs are the ones people want to find here's the uh, reprint to the Re fight the red menace the Bowman series the really popular Bowman series Doomers Light Pumpernickel Bread. I don't think I have any of those. And then that's Shelby. Shelby Gum. So there's another R card right there. Fighting Planes. The Second World War. Time Marches On. Some more R185s. One's R168s. We have those. I collect those with all the different like backs, whether they're purple or you know with the uh, trademark down at the bottom. Without it, more of these tops, mini midgy flags. Some more Dick Tracy caramels. Oh, some of these are decent. Didn't have a lot of those to begin with, so I'll take that. These are what Frank Bucks, I think. Bring them back alive, Frank Buck. Got a Justice League tattoo wrapper from Fleer. We got some Gaudi low-grade Gaudi license plates. No. Oh. I'm going to be. So that is from Post Serial. No strong man. So these are what Holloway Pirates. Pirates. Yeah, Holloway. Those ones are those ones are pretty cool. These are Raisin Bran. So these ones, I believe, they have the ads on the back like this for the different kinds of cereal for the different brands. Those come in two different styles. Those ones are harder to find today um, than some of these other ones. And so these ones here that don't have that, these came on a send away sheet that you got. So more fruits and tops, freedom wars. Quite a few of those. Some more of those Herbert Turretin folders. And just a few more cards here. So we've got our Civil War News cards there. They look to be in decent shape, but again, the, um, the centering on these cards and the cut are typically somewhat horrendous, and that's to be expected. If you find these with razor cuts, they're probably trimmed in some way. But it's not uncommon to find them that poorly centered. Just zero production value on this set. That being said, they're not particularly easy cards to find. 
Dick Tracy Carmels, Henry Johnson, or Walter Johnson, right? Yeah, Walter Johnson. And then some cutout flags, probably again, from some sort of cereal or something. So we'll go through the last few pictures here. Again, this video is way longer than I wanted it to be, but it is what it is. So we've got our flag, we've got our foldy here that's been folded. This is comic book foldies. We've got a Frank Buck card, actually pretty decent condition for a 1930s gum card. One of those Civil War cards, Jello booklets. These are pretty popular little things. This is from a series of the different months. So this is from a series of 12. And uh, this is a tobacco fat uh, Fatima cigarettes or Fatima cigarettes. And these are dances. And it's actually a flip book. So I'm going to try to be as gentle as I can. But we'll watch the two just dance around and doing whatever dance they're supposed to be doing here. Modern dance series. Russian Steps of the Maxix. So, cool. I've got three or four of these, so I'll compare that to see if I need that particular subject or not. And again, here's one another one of those Holloway cards. They're burying some treasure, digging up some treasure. Oh, burying the treasure. That's what it says. So not digging it up, burying it. Defending America to our 168s. And then finally, some more. We got uh, some Marvel cards with the, the Nazi Nazi plane. These are some nicer ones. These might be reprints or something. I'm not sure. Eh, maybe not. Maybe they're just nice. Some uh, three Dick Tracy cards and some Mickey Mouse cards. And so that is kind of it. So all, all in all, a pretty absolute hodgepodge. Oh, no, no, sorry, my bad. The things that I was kind of waiting to the end for. <laughs> Almost missed these. So what we've got here is this is a Topps test series called um, Doors or Doorways. And uh, the cards were kind of fold open or something like that. Funny Doors. And so you were supposed to pop the doors open and there's jokes and that kind of thing inside. But it's a, I think it's folded down, but then glued. So if you open the doors, then a, a funny anecdote will be kind of underneath that. So it looks like there's a full series of those. There's a bunch more of those Jello months booklets so it looks like there's a full set of those probably because yeah we had December in the stack and we have some tops presidents it looks like it says on the front a full set so I'm assuming there's maybe a full set of presidents and then probably the thing that I was the most excited about, and it kind of didn't even get really mentioned much in the auction description, was what appears to be a near complete set of these Switzer's giant bubble um, cards. And these are R17. These come either as you know, kind of cards like this or as package designs that were cut off the box of the, the gum, bubble gum. The box designs are much, much harder to find, but these are no slouches. The, they are tough to find, and it looks like there's quite a few here. It, it, they just had one quick picture, so I kind of just assumed, I think I counted at least 10 pages. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 times 9 would be 99. I think there was a couple little spaces. So probably missing a few, but it looks to be a near set.
So I am super jazzed about that. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's kind of what we got in our auction lots from Leland's. And, you know, some pretty good value there. These are going to be super fun. It'll probably take me a month or two to kind of finally sit down, go through a lot of this stuff and figure out what it is I'm going to keep, what's up, what I'm going to get rid of so that I can uh, buy some other things. But all in all, really, really fun group. And I enjoy, that's what I enjoy the most about this hobby. And, uh, you know, I enjoy finding things and sorting them and, you know, trading or getting rid of my duplicates and then using that money in order to buy or purchase something that I want a lot more that adds to my collection. And so anyways, thank you guys so much for um, bearing with me. I know that's going to be a long video and hopefully you skipped ahead to the part that was actually interesting to you or if any of it was, but you know, uh, again, I do a lot of sports cards, but I really do enjoy the non-sports cards too. There's just I, I kind of view non-sports cards as sort of like the, the Wild West. There's still so much to be learned and discovered. And a lot of times by learning about the non-sports cards, we learn more about the, uh, the more popular and collected sports cards as well. So anyways, thanks for tuning in to Stars of the Diamond. And um, if you like my videos, think about subscribing, hit that like button. And uh, also check out some of my other videos. Okay, I've got uh, you know quite a few other videos that I've made. And uh, it should be some good times. If you like cards, it's for you. All right. So as always, everybody, happy collecting.